Okay, now I want to talk about the citric acid cycle and, and an interesting and something interesting that happens during the citric acid cycle. As you know, um, when you make acetyl CoA, the first reaction for between acetyl CoA and oxaloacetate forms citrate. Okay, but you might ask the question, and this is a legitimate question: Why don't we just use the the acetyl CoA to release the carbon dioxide? Okay. Uh, why do we first link it to oxaloacetate before completely oxidizing the carbons to CO2? So you might be wondering why we don't just use acetyl-CoA in the citric acid cycle and not go through this long, lengthy process. Well, the function of the citric acid cycle is to harvest energy released during oxidation. Okay, The whole point is to make those reduced electron carriers and high energy um, bond and high energy molecules like GTP. Okay. And it's advantageous then to break the overall reaction into many steps, okay, or as many steps as you possibly can. Because if, and this just goes back to, to a, a basic understanding, just like I talked about in previous videos, if we hydrolyze the bond, okay, ahead of time, or there's nothing there to take up the um, energy that's released, it just gets released, okay. And that's a problem, you know, you could release a great deal of energy at once, but if there's nothing there to harvest the energy, if there's no, if there's no way of may, putting that energy into a different form and saving it for later and using it later, then there's really no point in doing it. You're not getting anything out of it. You're probably just going to generate a lot of heat, okay? So by breaking it up into as many steps as possible, using a two-carbon compound, okay, you, you just, you essentially are able to take smaller amounts of energy at any one given time. So as you're not releasing it all right away, you're re releasing it in, in like a piecewise fashion. And, um, and using the two carbon compound, okay, the available chemistry would not be, would be limited. Because if you think about it, the available chemistry for a two carbon compound is pretty limited. You can't do too much with that. Whereas with a six carbon compound like oxal like a citrate, you can do a lot more. So that's another reason why. And you wouldn't be able to also form as many intermediates. So that's important as well.